Well, you may have passed one going to and from work today. Alleys like this one, usually an afterthought and sometimes not very well cared for. But one neighborhood is working hard to try to change that, and they're really going the extra mile here, too. Yeah, they're not just pulling weeds, picking up trash. I mean, the whole community is really pitching in. Tamara Lopez got to check out the progress today. And Tamara, I love the, <laughs> the special name yeah. for these alleys. They're, they're calling them pocket parks. Yeah, Tessa, the pocket parks are alleys just like this one in the South San Pedro neighborhood. But this project has a few goals in mind. So one of them is making these afterthought areas a bigger priority. So that's where the veggie plants and art come in. Now, the second part is to clean it up and make it a safer path for skids for kids to take to school. It's really been really special for me. Building a better community is what gets Tanya Mullen up in the morning. So you can imagine her work on a beautification project basically in her own backyard has been very gratifying. We had a, a dad who lives on an alley closer to San Mateo this morning express that he's afraid to have his kids play in the backyard because of the things that have been happening in their alleys. And as you can see, we've, we've got an immediate pocket park really that, that neighbors can come out and play in. This this is the new and improved Way of Light Alley. The project is meant to bring more murals like this to alleyways so people have beautiful artwork to look at as they walk through alleys, as opposed to walking through alleyways like this that still have the weeds and trash that haven't been cleaned up yet. The South San Pedro neighborhood is collaborating with the city and the county on revamping its alleys. Our alleyways have had a negative effect on what people think of South San Pedro and us and a bunch of other neighbors have gotten together with South San Pedro Neighborhood Association to beautify them and make them better, make them more welcoming. Volunteers painted murals, laid down mulch. There's even community veggies now. And this alley between California and Dakota will eventually be used for the walking bus in the area. When my children were smaller, I would have loved for them to be able to walk to school, had that same experience I did as a child where I was able to walk to school. So providing them a safe space to walk into is very important to me. Volunteers walk kids to school to make sure they get there safe and now they'll have a clean and inviting shortcut. We're revitalizing South San Pedro. We're, we're reinventing what people think and see. So it, it's great because it's, it feels just all brand new. So for this to work, all the neighbors have to be on board on that block to help pitch in and to keep it up. And the walking bus is set to launch this fall with Walktober. And if you want to volunteer for that, we will have all the information under the story on KOB.com. Tessa? Just so encouraging. They saw a problem and they're doing something yeah. about it. Tamara, thanks so much for that.